Yeah. I just, yeah. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the introduction. Introduction. Oh no, gotta mute that. Cause I heard myself. Say something. Oh, marry you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn you up too. You good? That's better. Yeah, you good. All right, I'm gonna make an announcement on the Discord. And then I'm gonna start an introduction. I should have pre-typed this, but whatever. <laughs> Sending people in my Discord. We live. All right, let's go ahead and do the introduction for the video. It's your boy Eclipse from Team Brookless. It's Ecast Live, baby. I got my boy Boo in the Discord with me. What's popping, Boo? How we doing today? We're doing really good, man. Um, had a pretty easy day. Looking forward to this. Ah. Um, how was your day? It's been pretty good, man. I, I can't complain. Same old. It's a Monday. For a Monday, it wasn't too bad. Um, it is what it is. We're here now. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that you're happy to be here, too. Oh, hell yeah, man. Got a lot to say. Talking about video games. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> That's lit. Um, yo, let me ask you something before we get started into anything. So, like, mm -hmm. in terms of... Let's ask you about the, the streaming. Or my my stream schedule, my fight nights. How do you feel about the fight nights that have been going? I feel like we've, I've been pretty consistent, and I feel like it's growing every time I play, or every time I stream. Like how you, how do you feel like it's going? How do you feel like being involved in that, bro? Oh, uh, dude, honestly, it's like it's. I think you, I think you accomplish what you set out to do, which is like you know bring people together to like revive like that whole you know friends coming over playing video games like that. That's exactly how I felt. Um, playing with you for like the last what four weeks, maybe a bit longer every Friday, right. um, and the fact that you just added like more fight nights. I don't know if you want to you know cover that right now or like you know mention it later. But uh, the fact that you're bringing in like Wednesdays, maybe even Mondays to the whole uh, schedule, like that's awesome, man. Uh, I've just have been having lots of fun playing uh, with you and everyone else, and like you know seeing all the people come in, you know, and uh, joining in and all that. That's honestly, it's a lot of fun. Thanks, bro. Um, I feel like I got a long way to go in terms of where I want to be and where what I think I want it to become. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, yo. Like, um, I met people like you, a bunch of people I didn't even... It, yo, it was, I said this on my Twitter the other day. It's like, I got people who I don't know who I just met who, like, want me to succeed and, like, have fun and, like, res like respect me and we just come in and have fun and, and want me to do better and... and Wish me to do the best, man, and that's a great feeling, bro. And the fact that we can all just come and play video games together without it being no, no, so far, no drama. We have all types of people, you know what I'm saying, in there. We got females in there. We got black, white, Mexicans. <laughs> like, we're all here just having fun. It's not a big thing. Just coming and play video games. Like, I love it, yo. I fuck Yeah, no, it's, it's it. honestly, I look forward to it every Friday, man. It's the best. Yeah, it, it's fucking sick. Um, doing my street fight nights on Friday is probably the best decision I made since I started doing it. Uh, to see more people are free. And I think the pandemic's helping because nobody's really going out on Friday nights. But um, pretty sick, man. Pretty sick. Yo, so the first topic. Kevin Hart playing Roland in the Borderlands. Have you ever played any of the Borderlands games? No, unfortunately, I'm 
pretty unprepared for this. Uh, I never played any of the Borderlands. I didn't even play the those Telltale ones. But uh, you you tell me about Borderlands. Uh, what is it like? A first person shooter? It's a first person looter shooter. Um, in my opinion, I always called it like the first person. You ever played? You know the Fantasy Star series at all? Fantasy Star Online? Nah. Hmm. Let me see what I can compare it to. I don't, it's almost like most games are like it now. Destiny. Um, isn't too unlike it. It's just a looter shooter. You shoot shit, you get guns, and, you know, you level up, you build this character, and yeah, it's a cool game. Pretty cool, simple, I won't say simple, but pretty cool um, mechanic, or slow mechanics, type mechanics, and it works. It's, it's a good gameplay system that works. Um, and it's co-op. Like Four players co-op. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's, it's a pretty fun game, and then um, but they picked Kevin Hart to play Roland, and I don't know if you've ever seen Roland, but he does not look I, <laughs> like he's, I think, the opposite of when I see Kevin Hart, or Roland and Kevin Hart. Yeah, no, I looked up a guy, I, I looked up, uh, picture. Roland, uh, before we, uh, started the pot, the, uh, the cast, and, uh, I'm looking at the two, I'm like, that, that's a, that's a bad casting choice, like, <laughs> is, isn't Kevin Hart, like, kind of short, too? Roland looks like a tall dude yeah Roland looks like I don't know his height in game but he always I thought he always seemed tall and muscular and Kevin you know he's a fit dude but I just don't think of soldier when I see Kevin I think we're just looking at like you know like name recognition you know if you if you want to get like an audience like you know hyped for a movie I feel like you know this, this this is uh this is the thought process. Oh, Kevin Hart, funny, popular, everyone likes this guy. Let's put him in the movie. Doesn't matter, you know, really who he casts. Like, is is Roland like a funny comedic character? I like he got some jokes more in or less in the second one because their characters are more brought out. Um, but I never really seen him as like the the clown of the group. Kevin Hart always just seemed like the clown of the. A, he's a comedian. Yeah. So I don't get it. What up, Storm? <laughs> I'm pretty, yo. Yeah, well. Do you are you looking forward to it? Do you think he's gonna pull it off? I, or is it like I think I don't wanna go into this like a this is gonna be a just a movie version of the game or the story. Like this is gonna be almost an alternate universe type thing. Um, I think could Ro Kevin pull off a cool version of Roland? Yeah, I don't think I should go in expecting the Roland from the game, if that makes sense. And I, I think you. video game fans and comic book fans, I feel like Marvel, I feel like the, you know, like, going back to like when the X-Men movie started, right? Mm -hmm. I used to hate the X-Men movies because... People say they're bad. I don't think they were that bad. Like, they were average. But I used to hate them because they weren't exactly like the comic book characters. So, all the stories were different. There was big, drastic changes between, you know, what I grew up in love with. But as I finally moved past it, I was like, okay, cool. Like, it's not that bad. I could, You got to enjoy it for what it was. Like, it was good movies. It was superpowers. And I think this is going to be the same. Um, hopefully, <laughs> and for their sake, I hope... Most people who love... People love the Borderlands story. The, the lore, the characters. Like, people really love them. And everything about them. So, I think they need to, like, just let people know, like, this may or may not be the same characters y'all love. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for a direct representation of these characters, you might be disappointed. What up, Never Miss? <laughs> Never miss. I'm trying to have you on here one of these days, bro. I feel like, you know, to go back to, like, adaptations and all that kind of stuff, like, I feel like comic books, you know, even in the early days, I feel like they, they worked, you know. I feel like there was an easier transition, but, like, video game, ga video game movies in general, I feel like they've always been, like, you know, like, just destined to not be that good. Like, a Borderlands movie... If it was animated, I give it like you know, I give it like a lot of a lot of hope. But yeah. um, live action, I don't know about I don't know about Why? that man. Like, 
yeah, that's another complaint I have. Video game, like, not even just video game characters, but just, like, why do we have to make everything live action? I don't get it. I, do, I don't think Sonic should have been live action. There's too many humans in Transformers. Oh, actually? I ran about that stuff now, all the time. Now that you mention it, I feel, I don't know, we've had two video game movies recently that weren't bad, and if anything pretty enjoyable that was like sonic movie i heard good things it wasn't bad like, yeah right it wasn't bad so like and pikachu i watched that myself it was pretty good like it's t- compared see, to like it ter- pokemon was good i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna lie about that pokemon was really good um detective pikachu yeah that movie was really good and what yeah I, I just can't. There's nothing I can say bad about it. I, I just feel like in that case, Pokemon is kind of centered around humans also as well, so it makes more sense. But the the CGI is really good. Um, and it was a it was just a cool story, cool little cute story. Um, I think Sonic would be better if there were no humans. <laughs> Honestly, same. Even though it was a good you know, movie, I think it would be better yeah. if he was just in some animated world i guess the like sonic was literally the only animated character in the show right or in a movie and he just not like not that that's like different like you know garfield was like that there's a bunch of movies like that um mm-hmm. but it'd be it's almost better if it's kind of like a space jam like did it right where they put michael jordan into an animated world so you saw mostly animated characters and Michael Jordan was diving into the world. I think it's weird when it's the opposite. Or, at, yeah, I just think it's weird. Same thing with Transformers, too. Like, I just want to see robots. I don't want to see... And I like the Transformers movies, too. But, I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion, though. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Man. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like that new Tom and Jerry uh, movie is all like Space Jam. I don't know if you saw the trailer. I did see a trailer, but I don't. Remember I don't know, man. I, like I feel like Hollywood is crazy. Like what they adapt, like Borderlands, Tom and Jerry. Like I, I don't know what works or doesn't. Because like we just listed a lot of examples, like mm-hmm. of like movies that work and don't work. Like Borderlands. Okay, in my opinion, like Final Judgment. I feel like it could be entertaining and good. Yeah. Like good for a video game movie, but. There's a lot here that it just flops. Well, right. Do you even think it's going to happen? Like, do you actually think it's going to go through? I think so, just because Kevin Hart's involved. Hmm. And I don't know why he makes a difference. I just feel like I've never heard of a project that he's been in that just disappeared, maybe? Um, and I feel like that's probably a lot of money to get him involved. So, most of the time... I think in this stage, once an actor has been, like, contracted, they got to pay him no matter what. So, I don't think they want to lose that money. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. I could not know what I'm talking about. I could have just made that all up. But it's Who's sounds the, legit. Does, does Borderlands have, like, a main character? Uh, It's usually the four people. So, Borderlands 1, it was Roland, uh, what are their names? Roland. Why do I not remember their names? Lilith, Roland. Brickhouse? And the sniper dude. I'm terrible because I don't remember their names. Um, And then in the sequel, they have four more characters. So those are the main characters. Ro- Roland is, is the main character in the first one. And he's more of a okay. side character in the second one. Is Kate, the, what's, what uh, Kate, uh, Kate Blanchett as Lilith? According that was to, another pick. She just seemed too old. <laughs> Let me look at a picture of Kate Blanchett. I think I looked her up. Oh, it was Mordecai and, yeah, Brick. Kate Blanchett. All right. This is weird, man. She just looked too old, but whatever. I don't know. She's supposed to be... Man, tell me about... 
She always looked young in the video games. And not only that, they have a pretty thick, like, actor who they use for Lilith already. And she's, like, in the cut, some of the cut scenes, I think. Why not just use her? That's different, man. Motion captors and voice actors, way different than voice, than, uh, regular movie actors. Yeah, but it's like, oh, 2021, <clears throat> you can't, you can figure that out, right? Well, it's not just that. It's also like going back to why Kevin Hart, like out of anyone else. Oh, it's because he's got he's he's someone. He, he's people. He's someone people know. You yeah, know, like I, uh, so if you use name recognition. Kevin might be claptrap. I thought they say he was claptrap. Would actually make sense <laughs> if it was his voice as claptrap. It would actually make a lot of sense if his voice was claptrap. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I don't know, man. Maybe you're right, but I feel like they could have got somebody better. Who at least younger. For Lilith. So I guess we'll see. Kevin Hart got self factor. I do agree with that. Like if you like if you're gonna try to make a video game work, definitely gotta have a self factor and why not be an actor? I just don't I just don't it's why I don't know. Video games are bad. Movies are bad, though. And it's still a risk to even be in a video game movie. He could end up being a bad movie. He got to live with that. That's part of his legacy, I guess. I don't know. I'm looking at chat, boo. If you know, I'm, that's what I'm talking to. No, no, I got you. No, <laughs> I, I, I figure it out. <laughs> the, the other thing is that, like, all right, I think my, my, the, the last thing I want to say on this is that, like, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but, like, no. who asked for this? Who asked for a Borderlands movie? Yo, I say that all the time. Like, who asked for it? Like, why do we need a... Boy, y'all don't give me a, a... Just give me a freaking better game. Give me a prequel. Why do you need more <laughs> movies? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know why this is coming. Everything's got to be a franchise. We got to sell movies, games, TV shows, video... Um, I don't know. I guess. I guess if, you're, so gonna, if you're gonna sell out, sell out big. But uh, I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, just selling out. Like I don't get it. I don't need a movie. Just give me more video games. Give me more spinoffs. You know what I'm saying? Make a make more spinoffs. I really think games should do more spinoffs. Just do yeah. Some, I heard those t- those Telltale games are pretty good. Yeah, Telltale games are doing good. Do a uh, do a MOBA. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just feel like there's a lot of things they could have did different. A free to play online game. Why not? Okay. That's just me, though. I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What you want to talk about next, buddy? Um, next, uh, I was actually watching your old episodes of the ECAST, and the one that, you know, stuck out was the free to play versus pay to play. Mm -hmm. A lot of points in that, and, uh, in my opinion, I feel like pay-to-play is better than free-to-play because mm-hmm. th- there's so many bad things I can see with free-to-play. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't really write anything down, so I'll probably just sound crazy. I'll probably save it for like another day. But all I can say really is that if you make everything free-to-play, that gives like a certain level of control or like or that takes a certain level of control out of like the player base's hands and into like... A, I, could, I can see like a greedy corporate, you know kind of like uh group uh just like doing something where players you know don't really have much of a say or like decide how a game goes like like i said i gotta write this down to like really put my words together i'm not really good on the fly like that Mm -hmm. but like i don't know if you make everything uh free to play what that really translates to is that like you know keep all the really nice stuff like cosmetics or characters behind a paywall and you like keep like you know and give scraps to like you know everyone else and it's free to play technically but like mm-hmm. that's just going to encourage a lot of people to want to you know buy a lot of stuff and cosmetics mm-hmm. i feel like you know i feel like free to play isn't really free kind of like you know how people say oh nothing's really free like uh, mm-hmm. you know if you're not paying for a service you're the service that kind of deal i i think i don't remember what we were i think i was just ranting i don't remember if i was just ranting on that video 
or what, but I do think there is arguments for both sides. And I do think if you would have asked me this like five years ago, I would like, no, nah, free to play sucks. No, but now we're kind of in a, especially this probably past two, two, three years, we're in a space where there's some really solid free to play games where I feel like um, the time they're asking is reasonable. And what up, Skittles? And I also feel like a lot of the content you get is could could they could sell it to you for a reasonable price, and you probably couldn't even be mad. And you're you kind of getting away. Um, I feel like Apex Legends is a really good free to play game. I've been spent a dollar in that game. Um, uh, yeah, I just I feel like it's case by case though. You know what I'm saying? Apex Legends, great free to play game. Uh, Genshin Impact, in my opinion, great free to play game. Fantasy Star Online too. Probably the best free to play game, um, and get in terms of the system, in my opinion, ever. Um, but there are some bad ones too, and I don't play those bad ones. <laughs> but there are there are a lot of bad free to play games that I know people do not like because of the gacha systems. Um, <laughs> DCO is definitely bad free to play. DCO is DCO and Skyforge are very bad free to play games. And I do not know how Skyforge is still going. I do not know how... D I kind of get why DCUO is still going. I feel like FF14 is a good example for pay-to-play. Because I feel like you get your more than your money's worth if you're playing that game heavy. Um, though, I have another issue with FF14. That's a different conversation. Um, even though I do think it's probably the best MMO for your money. Um, and that's still that's still pay to play, um, and but this uh, same thing with uh, sixty dollar games, Ghost of Tsushima sixty dollar game, probably worth way more than that to be honest. <laughs> I probably would have paid seventy dollars of that and not been mad. Um, the story was great. The added the free added multiplayer mode was great. Um, that game is. <laughs> That game was definitely worth sixty dollars to me. I don't see how a free to play. I definitely don't really see how a free to play single player game would work right now without it being trash. Marvel Avengers is a sixty sixty dollar game that should have been free to play. That game is bad. The content was weak. They should have took out the story, just made a free to play multiplayer game and sold skins. That game is bad. <laughs> he said, it's, "I don't even think it's worth forty dollars." That game should have been twenty dollars at launch max. That game was bad. That game was bad. There was another sixty dollar game that came out. Oh, and I wanted to bring this up. Cyberpunk. Too, Cyberpunk. I. Cyberpunk is a weird position because I think you get your money's worth in the content, right? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, not so much Cyberpunk. I got confused with another game. Uh, no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is a weird one too. How much? That was sixty dollars when it came out. I don't remember. I know people had to pay for it, and they really shouldn't have. <laughs> no Man's Sky is one of those, those weird like games rough. where they probably should have just delayed that bitch. Well, well, Cyberpunk too. They probably should have just kept delaying it. Sixty at mm. launch, yeah. Never mess that up. Sixty at launch. This No Man's Sky. People say it's good now. Like all the content they said was going to be there is practically in there now. Godfall. <laughs> I thought Godfall was going to be bad. Seventy dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Nervous is going off in the chat. I don't know if you can see chat, but Nervous is going off. Um, you streaming on Twitch or YouTube? Twitch, Twitch. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Yeah, so definitely, this, I think what well, maybe going at rent, it was just so many bad back to back $60 games, full price games. That were just not even compared to these free to play games that came out. PSO2, Genshin Impact, uh, there was another one we brought up. These, Genshin Impact, D, PSO2, there was another game too. There was like three back to back free to play games that were like. Apex? Apex Legends is definitely one of those games. So I just felt like, and that, Apex is kind of old now. It's like a year old, two years old. But still, it's, it, 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 oh, yeah. So like Warzone, free to play. Um, 
There's a bunch of games Team that Fortress. came out for free to play. Team Fortress is lit. I love Team Fortress. That's still going. Uh, and Rocket League. That's so weird. Rocket like these games League? are just turned. Yeah. Rocket League came out as well. Rocket League's weird because it came out as free, but if you didn't get it in time, you had to pay for it. And then it came on other consoles, you had to pay for it. And now it's free everywhere. Rocket League's weird. Rocket League is the weird game too, but yeah, all these there's just so many good free to play games out there. And then back to back, we got terrible fucking pay to play games. Marvel Avengers, and it's like I feel like it started with Anthem. Do y'all remember? Oh Anthem? yeah, Anthem. Anthem. I remember Anthem. Was like the start of like it was just unacceptable. Anthem dropped and people was mad. I've never seen the game do that bad before and then after anthem you know a little bit longer marvel avengers what up marvel um marvel avengers cyberpunk and granted i feel like cyberpunk didn't deserve all the hate it got but at the same time i get it and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and, and defend these devs i'm just not um games should work when it comes i feel out. Uh, honestly I feel the same way. I feel like Cyberpunk gets a really bad rap because I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on in the background that had a lot of like they should have people just hate it for people, no reason. People overhyped Cyberpunk. People put Cyberpunk on this crazy level before the game even came out, and people thought it was gonna be and and to their and to people's defense, like they did kind of sell the game like it was gonna be crazy, like it was gonna break all boundaries. And a lot of things this sound like did sound too good to be true, and it finally came out. Fallout seventy six. That's yeah, that's a game that went free to play, right? It came out as buy to play, free to super bad. Now it's free to play. It should have just came out free to play to start. But anyways, um, yeah, it just. I, but I think that for Cyberpunk, the content's there. Like I think overall, it's a worth sixty dollar game. There's a lot of time you got to put into it. Um, there's a lot you can still do. Um, I just don't think it was, they overhyped it. Not just the pe people overhyped it, but they also oversold it. So people thought they were getting a hundred dollar game for $60 and it was, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a, and it didn't work. That's the biggest thing. I don't want to say it's not worth $60, but your game should work. It's kind of crazy. Your game. Uh, I don't agree with that. Never miss. I just think it. They should, well, you might be right, but I don't agree with that. I think they, sh they sh it should have just worked. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. It's kind of crazy to me. $60 game, it should work, bro. If I bought a $60 hey, part on my car and it doesn't work, I'm going to that, wherever I got that part, and I'm going to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? I put sixty dollars anywhere and it doesn't work. I, th there's a problem. I spent ten dollars on something that don't work. I'm we're taking that shit back. Honestly, I came into this conversation. I brought up this topic like thinking like, no, pay to play is you know way better. Free to play is like too sketchy. You know what? Mm -hmm. You're completely turning me around. <laughs> and I, I again, I, I think there's an argument for both. I just feel like. At the end of the day, we just got to hold devs to a higher standard. And when when the free-to-play games are doing that, Genshin Impact is doing way too good as a free-to-play game for these $60 games to be trash. Yeah, it depends on the game. It depends on the developers. And we just need to hold these developers to a higher standard. Like, I just feel like I'm kind of glad people, like, shitted on Cyberpunk so hard. But what I'm mad at is... They didn't shit on Marvel Avengers enough. They didn't... Anthem should have got shit on more. I don't give a fuck if it's dead. All these $60 games that came out didn't work should have got shit on more. I don't care. Oh, if you want the whole story on those games, like, all right, like a little plug for, like, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. There's this guy named Matt McMuscles. Mm -hmm. uh, he, has a, he has a series called What Happened. It's spelled like What Happened, like an idiot. Um, and it goes through, like... Like, uh, the whole process of why games just went terrible is, like, I think his number one video is specifically Fallout 76, and behind that, probably Anthem, and then behind that, uh, what's it called? Like, like just some other games. Like, every single, like, gaming mm. catastrophe you could think of, he covered it, and it's the funniest thing ever. 
And what you find out is that, like, it's not so much that, like, the developers are just bad. It's just, like, it all goes back to, like, you know, um, the time crunch whoever owns like that. Yeah. Time, time crunch, profits, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, Paul marketing, just, like, ruining everything, you know, pro- making promises that can't be kept, while also, like, you know, making sure that they get to a deadline, even though that deadline is, like, ridiculous. Like, oh, make a... Uh, the the uh, game is due like six months from now, um, and you've been working on it a year, but now completely scrap that because you're moving to a, like a new engine, you're moving to a new console, you're no longer yeah. like cross platform. Now you're just Wii U and all that, and like a whole bunch of other crazy stuff. Yeah. And like, so honestly, maybe it's not the devs, maybe it's just the companies overall. But I don't know. I just feel like we need to start. I don't know. I don't know what we got to do to be honest. Just stop buying them games. <laughs> I guess. I don't know, man. These people are still making profits, so I don't know what to do. I kind of give up on, like, the whole... I used to be like, oh, boy, let's boycott this, boycott that. And at the end of Boycotts the day, don't um, work. Yeah. Boycotts, people just aren't willing to do it. And I get it. Like, I don't know. It's not... It's a lot of things with, like, knowledge. Just me, ignorance is bliss, you know? Like, some people just don't know, and some people don't care. Like, some people are perfectly happy with Avengers. Some people are perfectly happy with Cyberpunk. So, who am I to tell them how to spend their $60? You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Nah, people should have shot on Avengers. I don't give a fuck. That game was bad. It- I think people are... Sh- I think people... I think the worst you can do to Avengers is just not talk about it. Because, like, honestly, Clips, you're the only one mentioning Avengers. Like, it's dead, bro. It's okay. Like, oh, man. You know, you I, well, I was, I'm a huge Marvel fan, dude. I'm a... I buy all the Marvel games. I've probably played almost every Marvel game that's come out since Super Nintendo. And, I don't know. It just hurts me. Maybe you're right. I need to let it go. And the only pro- real problem with the game is that it doesn't work. If it worked, it'd be fine. Ultimate Alliance, Ultimate Alliance 3 was great. They should have just did that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, man. Just yeah, just just play that. Forget Avengers ever existed. Just play like Marvel Alliance. It's got, it's got everyone. Miles Morales, Miss Marvel. Yeah, Miles Morales. That too. I don't want to be motherfucking Miss Marvel. Who is she? She's cool. She's Mister be... Fantastic. Yeah, way cooler. Not as creepy. I like her as a character. I just don't care to be her in a video game. That's fair. <laughs> I just don't care about to be her in a video game. I do like her as a character, but I don't want to be stretchy powers. Yeah, she can do. You can do cool stuff with her. I think you just hate. You just hate women eclipse. Um, just be <laughs> I would. <laughs> I I think they need to. The the crazy thing about her is she could be like very fun to play as, but they kind of use her. I don't know. Maybe it's a lack of imagination because her powers in itself are like oh she's op. Same thing with Mister Fantastic. And she is. They can kind of do anything, but. They kind of do nothing in the video games, but I don't know. How do you? I'm no game developer, so what do I know? Maybe I don't I'm being think, too harsh. There's not that many stretchy people who like you know really go crazy with uh, their stretching powers. Right. So. I know. I know. Uh, what's, her, what's her name? Elastigirl from the Incredibles movie. I, I know they did some pretty clever things with that, but like, yeah. you know, just just do that. She's really like, anyway. fling shit at people from miles away. And fling people. You should be doing a look. Man, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to make this rant into people who bend and stretch. Plastic Man is a trash character. Anyways. <laughs> what's the next topic, my boy? Uh, next topic. Uh, that would be uh, Bleeding Edge no longer being supported by Ninja Theory. <sighs> this one. This. I'm not surprised, and I'm dis- but I'm disappointed in Ninja Theory, and I'm disappointed in, I guess, Microsoft, because that was supposed to be, like, an exclusive, and it was supposed to be, like, part of the Ultimate Pass joint, and it looked like a really cool Anarchy Reigns type game. My, bi- my biggest problem was, like, the characters, 
the characters looked very ugly. <laughs> like, they all looked weird and ugly. But the gameplay itself was pretty clean, pretty core, and it was pretty fun. But that game didn't have any support at the jump. I'm looking at the art right now. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. And you said it was like Anarchy Reigns? It, played, it was like a brawler. It was like a little team brawler. It was pretty fun. 4v4. It had like objective modes. Um, you did have like classes. You had like a healer class, DPS class. Um, kind of like kind of like a 4v4 melee oriented like Overwatch. Um, it was cool. It was a yeah. cool game. It had potential. It just needed support. It needed private matches. I said this when I first got it. Like, if this game doesn't have private matches, it's not gonna last. Like, it's hey, a, wait. This is a it was a it was a multiplayer game that didn't have private match. Right. It didn't have private matches. It was just lo- lobbies. It had a practice mode, which was good, um, but it didn't have private matches. And um, like, you need private matches in games like this because then the community can hold its own by itself. Like, that's all communities really need private matches for pvp games and that core community could survive like people make if people can make sonic riders into a competitive racing games i don't think it needed a story i think a story would have definitely helped um but if you're see i I feel this way about damon x marketer too like if focus on the gameplay people i don't think people actually need story modes for certain kinds of game um if you want to make it a, a purely multiplayer game, you got to support it with purely multiplayer modes. And no, you're not purely multiplayer, but definitely you got to make the multiplayer feel like it's worth investing in. If people could have held tournaments and whatever else, like it could have been tight. They could have been really cool, but no support. So I didn't buy it. I wanted to buy that game so bad too, and I didn't buy it because I didn't. I knew they weren't going to support it. You know, you're you're completely right. If you got a multiplayer game, if you got a multiplayer aspect to your game, you know, don't half ass it. You know, right? Yeah, Fortnite have like private matches and shit. Yeah, I think so. I think they. Yeah, they definitely do. I always hear my little brother like you know, making up like private matches and stuff, creative mode and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, if you're going to make a competitive game, dude, give it private matches. I, that should be the bare minimum. It's kind of disgusting. I'm disappointed because I, I thought the game was pretty cool. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks really cool. It looks like, um, I don't know. I think it's because I just saw Borderlands. But like, I, I like that. I feel like this is like the Borderlands art style I can I can roll with. I, I don't know think, if that makes sense. I, think, I just think most of the characters are ugly. But they weren't like... I mean, that's, eh, it's an aesthetic, I, I guess. I mean, it's not even the aesthetic. It's just, a lot of them just freaky looking. They're like, the main character yeah. looks cool, the ninja dude. But, I don't know, one chick looks like a chicken. I don't know, the one dude, the Hawaiian looking dude is like big body and a small head and small legs. <laughs> um, they're, they're ugly and they like it. But it, it was a fun they game, though. They love it. They're, all the characters are fun to play with. Yeah. It's just a real gameplay. I didn't play Godfall, and Godfall sounded like everything I wanted in the game, with no effort put into it. Did you know about Godfall, boo? No, I'm looking it up now. What is it? It's, it's a like, uh... so it's the the people who made Borderlands made it, and it was supposed to be like a pretty much the melee looter shooter, pretty much the melee version of Borderlands. Um. Mm. But it just looked very bland. Like yeah. all, all the money went into the the ray tracing and particles, <laughs> and the combat just didn't look very clean. I thought it would be like the modern day PSO two, because PSO two is like it just hit the states, but that game is like eleven years old. Isn't it like on GameCube or something? Um. PSO, the original PSO I'm tripping. was on GameCube. Fantasy Star Online, the original was on GameCube. And then the the PSO 2 just came out on Microsoft, or it's on Steam now. Just came out like maybe, how long? Like a year? Max. Didn't make it. <laughs> um... 
Yeah. It, it looks like, like a year ago. Yeah. Absolver was actually a pretty cool game. Absolver. Which one's Absolver? Now, Absolver was a melee oriented, like, Dark Souls ish game. But it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember, wasn't it supposed to, like, be, like, For Honor, but. Like yeah, that? maybe. Yep. I didn't really play For Honor, and I, I still think I should have got into that. Um. I think it's still popular. My, funny enough, my little brother was just playing it today. I need to try it because it's been like free on everything. I've downloaded it and I've just never played it. I think it's something I would like, but uh, I don't know why I didn't play it. But yeah, it, I guess it's comparable. But like, you like learn melee moves and you can like make your own combos and stuff. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah, I've and seen this before. Out. Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. Like the masks. God, yeah, Godfall just need melee. Or they just need a. I don't know. They should have had somebody from. Um... It looks like it needs an identity. It kind of looks. I feel like if it looks like any other fantasy game, you just got a boring name. No offense. Yeah, they should have had somebody from Devil May Cry working on that. <laughs> they should have Platinum do that game. Yeah, style, flash, something. Let, let Platinum do all the combat and then. Gearbox handle all the loot and, and however that works. That game would have been lit. Or let Sega do it. I don't know why people don't copy the PSO2 format. I really think if people copy the PSO2 format, you can make some fire games. Man, I wish I had a real console besides the Switch so I can know what you guys are talking about. You gotta invest in a PC, bro. You gotta invest in a PC. I got mouse to feed Eclipse. Yeah. Hey, preach. Real life first. Real life first, bro. Not much happens on the Switch, man. Because Switch is like... Nintendo. Nits, shout out to Nintendo. Because they, they make these surprise drops freaking random. And I love it. I love it so much, bro. I love when they announce a game. And it's like, it'll be out in four months. Or they announce a game... You can play it now. I love that. I love it so much, bro. I hate these new things where they show you a trailer or something. And it's like, year 2023. Don't show me no game coming out three years from now. <laughs> I don't know what Platinum do. Platinum said they make like five games. And I don't think they... Oh, I think I don't think they said anything about any of them yet. <laughs> No, oh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, the more I learn about Platinum, the more bad they are with that, like, dra like uh, what's that dragon game that completely dropped? Um, dragon Scale? Yeah, scale Bound. Dragon, scale Bound. Scale Bound. Damn, I was looking forward to that, too, bro. That sounded like everything I wanted in the game. Riding dragons, co-op, swords. Cancel. Done. Yeah, Mavic Muscles did a video on that one too. What happened to Scalebound? I might need to watch that because I was excited about that game and it it hurt me so much. It hurt me so much. Here it got canceled. Damn. See. Yeah, being a Nintendo fan like has its ups and ups and downs. I, I feel like they won't really. I feel like Nintendo delivers, yo. Yeah, they really Especially do. Especially the last two years. Like, people say what they want about the Wii U, but all the dope Wii U games came back, or most, for the most part, are back on the Switch, and y'all buying them shits like crazy, because I'm definitely getting Mario 3D World this Friday. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be streaming that bit. I don't care who... I don't care if it's just me and you, boo, but we going to be playing that bit. Ultraman... I don't Ultraman. know what they I don't know what they're doing, Marvel. Platinum's all over the place. I Ultra think, man. Didn't they studio it bigger and stuff too? Platinum's all over the place. They're working on that one game. Uh shoot, what's it called? Project Fantasy. I can't think of the name. I'll Gra look it up. Grand Blue Relink. I think. Grand Blue Relink. 
And that game looks sick to me too. But that game is not coming out to like 2022. Grand Blue Fantasy? Yeah, I think that's it. Where did I make, did I make cool. up the Relink joint? They made a fighting game. And then they're making a, like a, I think it has a co-op mode. I don't know if the whole store is co-op, but it's like a action RPG type game. And it looks pretty sick, yo. Got yeah, look gameplay of this. Yeah, they have some sick gameplay. They have multiplayer gameplay too. Oh. But dope. I can't believe they're making another blood bowl. Yeah, Are you gonna buy me a PS Five, boo? Uh, yeah, it's uh, in the mail right now. Right now, dude. Right now, dude. I was thinking of getting you both, like, the Xbox Series X and the PS5, like, at the same time. But I'm like, nah, I gotta say something for Valentine's Day. Mm. Platinum Games was working on that game, Marvel. They're not working on it now, but they took them off yeah. the team. But, yeah, Arc, Arc System made the fighting game. He <laughs> said, yo, Marvel's gonna hook me up with a PS5. All right, no problem. I can have multiple sugar babies. Hey, I'm <laughs> trying to get spoiled, dude. All right, all right. What's next? Uh, Nintendo to replace twenty year old online system. That's crazy. Ah, oh, damn. Speaking of Nintendo, that's crazy. Yeah, so apparently this was found by a data miner. I don't have his name, but it was something oatmeal. But uh, he found that, yeah, Nintendo's in the works of trying to replace their system, a server that they've been using for, a server system that they've been using for 10 years, but it's been around for 20. And they're trying to replace it with a new one to NPLN. It was N-E-X, now it's N-P-L-N. And, um... When I first heard this, I thought, I got excited. because like, oh my god, are we finally going to have, like, a modern, you know, communication system with, for the Switch? No. Uh, no. The data miner said that, like, don't expect a real change. Uh, he says that Nintendo's primary goal is to make it as seamless as possible and that users aren't really going to even notice. So, like... Hmm. <laughs> I was hoping, like, maybe it'd at least be better, though, right? Like... Maybe I like they said the the first game that's gonna use it was Monster Hunter Rise, so I was thinking maybe and I I feel like that game didn't play bad on the demo. I don't know if it's using that system currently. Um, but it is, yeah, yeah. So I was just hoping maybe that's just a good sign later. Maybe not now, but maybe the next system. Next it, system. Yeah, you know Nintendo's making another system, bro. Yo, I did not. I know I. I would not have guessed. I don't think they're making a pro like everybody else think they're doing. I do. I don't know what Nintendo doing to be honest. Nintendo changed the game. Nintendo they really do. The game. They they dropped the Wii. People laughed at the Wii. The Wii did the crazy sales. They did Wii U. People were like, "What the heck is this?" That didn't do that great. Then they came out with the Switch and like, what the heck? It's got to be strong. And then, no, it's not very strong, but that junk is freaking killing it in sales. And all the games are lit. And then, oh. I don't know what Nintendo's doing. Nintendo. Uh, but, uh, a little earlier, Marvel, just to bring something up, Marvel mentioned Windows 98. The funny thing is that, yeah, when I was like, you know, researching the whole. Replacing the service thing, it said that like yeah, data miners would like look up. Like I, I don't know what it is, but like if you if you connected to the Nintendo Switch like old service system, it would actually boot up nine ninety eight Windows ninety eight, which I think is pretty funny. That's Again, they're like that's they're in the yeah. I love Nintendo. We just praised it, but like man, they're stuck in the past for so many things. Like I, I don't even kind of don't want to go into it because everyone's said it before. But like damn, why can't they just like modernize some stuff? I'm not even like. 
I'm not even as like this. Most people using Discord. If you got a cons or if you got a PlayStation or not, like y'all don't even gotta make me. Y'all don't even gotta make. Um, I don't need the party system. I don't. I mean, it'd be nice. I just want an invite system and decent online. That's all I want. And I feel like every game but Smash Bros is fine. Smash Bros is the worst. It's the terrible. I got a. You know, you joke that I'm gonna get you a PS5, but I might get you arms, like, cause like, you you gotta <laughs> know what does what does a good fighting game lobby look like? And arms has it. I literally can't praise it enough. Mm. Like, that's a, that's the other thing to, though too, bro. Like literally, we do fight night. We all hop on Rocket League. We all hop on Splatoon. We all hop on whatever game. We switch to Smash. No lag problems. We switch to Smash Bros. Same people, lag. Like what? See, going it's kind on? of funny. I I have no idea. Like what is what? Is it Bandai's fault? I don't know whose fault it is, but there's no excuse. Bandai only has one character. No, they have two characters or three now. I don't know how many characters they got in the game. So there's more Nintendo characters, so it's Nintendo's fault until otherwise. I don't care. No, it don't make no sense. I feel like... Honestly, let's just boycott Smash until they <laughs> fix those different problems. Smash Bros. is too casual, being People are not gonna... Um... People aren't going to boycott that joint. And I get it. It's a great game. <laughs> but, man. What could be, bro? And to be honest, if you're hardwired, it's not that bad. That's not a good excuse. But if you're hardwired, it's not that bad. Whatever. I was really hoping this whole, you know, server replacing thing would, like, bring, like, better communication and better connectivity and fix Smash Bros. But, no, I'm not going to get my hopes up. I don't think that's what they were doing. No. Whatever. No. I knew they weren't trying to do fix anything. I thought maybe... I thought maybe it meant something in the future. And I kind of still think it means that. I, I don't think it means anything now. Like, I think it's... Like, they already made their money on Smash Bros., you know what I'm saying? Why fix the internet now? Nintendo don't give a fuck about us. I showed the whole dance. Don't no, they hate us? They don't give a fuck about us, man. That's all you're getting. Shout out to Sakurai, though. He's the GOAT. I think he cares. He cares. At least Not Miyamoto, though. Miyamoto fucking hates it. It's not just kidding. I don't, know. I don't know what to deal with him. I don't know, but I think Sakurai is the goal, and I think he does care about his game. Um, I just think nobody else does. He's probably the only one. <laughs> He's probably the only one that cares, but he only cares about Smash Bros. He cares about Kirby. And Kirby, maybe. Um. <laughs> It's another great game. Yeah, whatever. Two plus two times zero is zero. <laughs> they don't really care about us. So I don't know why we ask them to care. But we will. You know why? Because we give them our money. And you're right. And my dollar should mean something. If I gotta go see I it. just I just said it, let's boycott Smash until they fix the server problem. It's not gonna work. I already bought it. And return it. Return it? Yeah. I don't have the receipt. Did you fall into any of this GME stuff? No, I I was thinking the exact same thing. I knew you were going to bring it up. I No, I'm, I do not know a single thing about this. And I really don't care. If you want to talk about it, go ahead and talk about it. But, like, I'll think you're ridiculous. I'm going to say one thing. Because I thought this and I said it on Twitter and I don't know if it means anything. I don't know if it works like this because I know very little. But I was like, okay, 
obviously this wasn't to save GameStop, but I was like, okay, say you did invest into GameStop stock. What? So say you invested some stock and you took everybody who was in on this movement to invest in more stock. Wouldn't it been better just to like, just like, yo, instead of buying more stock, let's support GameStop by buying all of our video games from now on straight from GameStop. No Amazon, no Walmart, no Best Buy. We're going to buy all of our games from GameStop. Would that not increase value in the GameStop, therefore increasing your stock? Never taking a less risk on your money. Maybe not. I, Maybe it doesn't work uh, like that. I don't know. No, never miss. I am not an economics major to tell you. All I can tell you is that I think going the stocks route to like increase the value of GameStop is way better because it's all imaginary numbers. And for that, some reason that makes it better. Whereas if you just, no one's gonna, no one realistic is gonna go out and buy like physical like stuff at GameStop. They don't even sell games at GameStop anymore. I don't know if you. When's the last time you went to GameStop? They don't sell any games. It's it's just a toy store now. Uh, I'm not joking. No. I'm joking, but like. Unless <laughs> I went to GameStop, there was definitely games. Yeah, I know. But the one in my like, mall just recently closed and sold everything. Nah. I don't know, man. I... The hedge funds was going to bank rough against stop. But yeah, but if we all just said like, yo, do you know how the Apple store is? What does that mean? But if we were like, yo, let's just buy everything from GameStop. Wouldn't their profits go up and wouldn't they not be bankrupt? I don't know. Again, I don't know how that works. So maybe this is another discussion for another time with somebody, people more knowledgeable about stocks and whatnot. Uh, My boy Darkon's pretty smart. I would have Discord. I would imagine it has to do with, like, the fact that, like, like doesn't, like, like value multiply in, in, like, stocks, whereas, like, yeah, if you just buy something at the store, like, you don't really do much with that. I don't know. <laughs> but if it was a huge amount of people doing it, like, the same amount of people who are investing in the stocks, would it not do something? I don't know. Don't listen to me. Maybe you're right. I mean, like... You're asking the wrong person, man. I know nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I'm gonna ask Dark on one of these days and see what he says. Maybe he'll know. Maybe it is a huge difference. I assume it. I'm assuming it is a huge difference, but I guess my question is, and again, I have to ask for someone more knowledgeable on the situation. Is how do you? How does a stock naturally go up? Wait, wait, wait. Did, does it have to do with, like, something about betting? Like, it was because people, like, the, some guy was, like, betting that the value of GameStop was going to be so low, so everyone bet that it's going to hit that point. Right. But then what a bunch of, like, Redditors did was that, like, oh, no, they bought stock mm -hmm. bringing it up. So GameStop somehow money. got, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Never mind. You know what? Sorry, I don't. Even, I shouldn't have said anything. No, you're no, right. I think the hedge funds lost my money because they bet against it and it didn't work because redditor said no, and I think that is what made them lose their money. Or the, these hedge funds lost money, and some people who invested against a long time ago, since the value went up, they had mad money. I think. All I know is pe this shit got everybody buying stocks and looking at on Robinhood and shit like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I I, fu I fell into the hype and bought the Doge coin, aka Doggy coin. I like calling it Doggy coin. And I fell into the hype and bought some of it, and I made like a dollar. If I would have put a hundred in, I would have made like three hundred dollars. I don't know, man. You're crazy, like, buying stock and all that. Like, I don't know what it means. 
that's the problem, bro. It's it's just like it's I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to get it a little bit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I uh, I get a little bit of it now, like because I just there been so many people covering the whole situation. Um, I just wonder if there's a better, more legit way to battle these big money people. Because um, I felt like I felt like dumping your money into this game stock if you didn't know what you were doing. This, that was a big. There could have been potentially a big risk if you were putting a lot of money in it. Whereas at least if you went to GameStop and supported GameStop, which again, why are we supporting GameStop? I don't know. GameStop is trash. Um, but if we did do that, would that not make just as good as of an impact without putting people financially at risk or at least having something with their money? When you say people at financial risk, do you, are you talking about the hedge fund people who are put in financial risk no, and like I'm about financial people, turmoil? I'm talking about, sir, you are talking in circles. I'm talking about people who were, who got hyped off the GME joint and started putting money into stocks, not knowing anything about stocks. I don't think they were put in, uh, I don't think those people were put into like danger or whatever, unless you were an idiot and like, put everything but i think people were like cautiously putting like a few bucks in i think so. Um, i think some people I, I know, were idiots and put some money in. I, not I, a lot of people but i feel like some people were idiots to put a lot of money in it yeah no yeah there, there's definitely you know that one you know special case where like a guy like put everything and all that but um i feel i don't think i don't know man i feel like you are onto something about people collectively coming together for something better. I don't know if that's what you mentioned. Yeah. Um, I think that collective organization would be way better put into something else if you really want to get back at those hedge fund billionaire CEOs. Um, but that's uh, that's uh, for another podcast. Yeah. Uh, I gotta, we got to find someone who's smarter than us talk about that yeah what i do know is that all right so so like a small group of redditors managed to like bankrupt a whole bunch of ceos Mm -hmm. imagine if like a bunch of people just went on strike honestly like do you like collectively if we all just stopped going to work and we demanded better pay you know better conditions i feel like you'd see a lot of like progress immediately because, like, with, with just a couple of people on Reddit, like, they, they brought down a whole bunch of CEOs. Imagine if we collectively, you know, mm-hmm. did something even grander than that. But, you know, again, that's, like, this is talk from, like, my uh, my communist Instagram pages and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, I just feel like, I mean, there's a whole other conversation and a whole other topic. But I definitely feel like, I don't know, something need to change. <laughs> I have to say that, bro. Some need to change, bro. We they claim we're the richest fucking country in. Never miss you want to come here. I don't know if I want to let you in here. Never miss. Maybe next time. <laughs> I let you in next week, baby. I promise. You free next Monday. But <laughs> um, some need to change, bro. That's all I gotta say. We we like the freaking um. Like we, America claims they're the richest country, right? But we can't yeah. even, we can't even get a stimmy check <laughs> without like yeah. like begging. <laughs> like we're yeah, like, we're the richest. Everybody we're the richest wanted, country. Yeah, dude, it's we're the we're richest the richest country. country because, like, on average, the rich people, the rich keep getting richer, and the poor people keep get like a little like meager better if any at all like a little richer if any at all again that's one topic for smarter people because honestly in the end the last capitalist we eat is the one who sold us the barbecue sauce anyways demon slayer no longer on ps4 now it's on ps5 and xbox series x and one and pc i'm looking forward to that uh do you have a ps4 
No. How are you going to play it? Is it coming to Switch? No, it's coming on the Xbox One. I think I'll, like, beg my brother to, like, let me borrow his Xbox One. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, did they show any gameplay about that? Like, how's it, what kind of game is it? Uh, I know it's being developed by, who was it? It was CyberConnect2 who do the Naruto games. And, uh, if it's anything like that, it's pretty okay. It's self-shaded, so it's gonna right. hold up visually. It's going to have 2v2 online, which Ooh. I think is pretty dope, right? Okay. And, uh, it's, and it's going to follow the anime story, so... Mm, anime's not that far, though, right? Yeah, that's Maybe. how I feel nervous. I got to see gameplay. I'm not going to hype it up until I see gameplay. I feel like a it's a sword-wielding anime, though, so it got to be lit, right? And if I it's feel 2v2... Like... It gotta be lit. It could be the next Power Stone. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I gotta see more gameplay. I gotta see more details. I'm happy you're happy, though. I just recently got into Demon Slayer. I don't know if you want to talk about that right now. Because, you know, that's kind of why I put it in there. I like Demon Slayer as an anime. I mean, the protagonist is pretty much just Goku. Like oh, most man. anime protagonists. But it, it's pretty All cool. Right. The manga is completed. That's dope. So it's probably not going to be that long. Hey, short anime is the best anime. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, so anyways, yeah, no, Demon Slayer just got into it. Not that far. I'm only like five episodes in. I'm taking my time. Um, Did I finish the first season? I finished the first season. I, I want to watch the movies. Didn't the movie, like, break, like, beat Spirited Away at the box office? I don't know. I just know Demon Slayer animation is just so nice. It's clean as fuck. I think I got a... What's it called? So Okay, so, like, yeah, I think how it goes. I'm looking it up now. So, the highest grossing Japanese movie of all time was Spirited Away. And oh, Demon Slayer's... And Demon Slayer's movie just beat that and becomes Japan's highest grossing film. That's crazy. You know? Again, like, people are... It's nuts. I'm gonna check oh. that out. Because I think that's pretty... Yeah, definitely have potential, yo. Some people say it falls off. People have read it. Um, But... As long as the animation is clean and the fights are tight... I don't see why it'd be bad. I like it. I like this so far, man. It's pretty cool. I liked it better than Fire Force. People were hyping up Fire Force, and I, I got bored with Fire Force. Demon Slayer, I was able to watch through. The manga gave you closure. I like that. I also love closure too. That's why I like short enemies. Shout out to short enemies. Spot game. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite uh, short anime? I like Fully Cooly. My favorite sword anime? Short. Short. Oh, short. Oh, Samurai Champloo. Not even a question. Oh, okay. Samurai cool. Champloo is probably my favorite anime of all time. Nujibis, Mugen, Jin. It's a rap. The soundtrack, the characters. It's just my shit. And it's short. Short animes are the best, man. Right after that, probably Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, it's alright. It's cool. I like Cowboy Bebop. I think, honestly, not gonna lie, I think that was my first anime ever. My first anime ever, I think, was... If it's not Dragon Ball Z, it was Gundam. Oh, snap. You nerd. Oh, I'm a nerd. I love Dragon Ball Z. Even though Dragon Ball Z is trash as fuck. And Gundam Wing is actually trash too. Even though I love it. Gundam Wing might have the coolest five Gundams in freaking. Like the coolest five set of five Gundams in the Gundam universe. I, I've always wanted to get into Gundam, but like, I have no idea where to jump in. Gundam. Jump anywhere, dude, to be honest. All the stories are kind of separate or the years apart. They don't really connect. 
there's like a connection, but they don't really connect to the point of where like you'd be lost without the other one. People say um, Iron Blood Orphans. Iron Blood Orphans is woo. That's my ish right there, bro. But um, Thunderbolts. People say Thunderbolts is really good. I didn't know you watched IBO Storm. I just watched it not too long ago. Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, that ending was crazy. But I, I thought it made sense, though. I got closure. I like the ending. I'm going to be honest. I think I'll jump into that. After Demon Slayer, I'll probably watch a Gundam. I've always wanted to. I need, I need a, mech, a mech, mech something in my life. Cold Geass is a good mech anime, too, and it's kind of short. Yeah, you're right. My friend, my best friend, tried to get me into that, and I told and I told him no. I don't know why though. I like Hogias a lot. Hogias is one of my favorite animes. Lelouch is my nigga. Yeah, it is clever. Is the ending bad? People keep saying like the one thing my friend told me is like, oh, but the ending's kind of weird or something like that. What happened? Uh, my friend was uh no my friend was just telling me how um how code Geass ends kind of weird or bad and that it's kind of like sketchy or iffy i'm like oh okay i don't know about that but i'll probably just get, like wing it or whatever just watch it bro never miss i thought you watched code Geass already dude I'm bad with watching stuff. Because if I got free time, I'll probably just be playing video games. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's, that's my problem now. I don't really watch anime too much anymore. But it's it's hard for me to watch. Like my, so my girl doesn't really like anime. So if, if I want to watch anime, she kind of has to be like either doing something else or I have to be like... And I don't know, too. I have to be like in the mood to watch anime. Like if I'm not in the mood to watch anime, I'm not going to watch it. And... I don't know, it gotta be like one of those situations where it's like, okay, I don't feel like playing video games. Um, I wanna sit and chill. The snacks are there. The drinks is there. It's gotta be a moment, bro. And, anime watching me has gotta be a moment. Everything gotta be right for me to watch anime now. And then I gotta, I gotta then I'm gonna sit there and watch it for like six hours. Maybe not six, maybe like four. But the moment gotta be there. I'm weird. Remember, is that getting old? Is that getting old, boo? I think that's getting old. Code Geass? Oh. No, me? I'm talking, no, I'm talking about my freaking how I, what it gotta be for me to watch anime. Did you listen to my no, story? No, yeah, sorry. I, I did. I no, did. I was. Did, I swear. Bro. Last second, <laughs> I just got it. I'm I, 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 I'm doing something for the cat for the e-cast. I'm trying to send e this to my Instagram me. to get more people. But no, I got you. Um, yeah. You're old as fuck, man. I am. <laughs> Thanks. I forgot to throw this on Twitter right next time. Yeah. But for real, though. Like, that sucks. For, I'm getting old. Everything got to be right for me to watch anime, man. I got to set the mood for anime watching. What? That doesn't oh, make you, sense. The Inuyasha spinoff? Sounds Funny strange. enough. I don't think it's trash. I think it's fine. I think it holds up. I ironically was watching Inuyasha specifically just because I got curious about the spinoff. So I'm like, you know what? I'll watch Inuyasha. It holds up. I think I it's fine. I Inuyasha. I thought Inuyasha was trash. It's a uh, it's a so it's a shoujo through and through. What's it's a got, shoujo? It's like a shonen, but like a girl, but like a woman, like a girl. Oh, uh, someone told me that. Not too long ago. I just found out what that meant. And I forgot. Yeah. I th I th yeah, like I said, I think it holds up. I think it's fine. Best girl is... Uh, it's not really best girl if I can't remember her name. But the girl with the giant boomerang. She's the best. I don't remember her name. Because I don't watch that trash anime. Yeah, it's got no taste. I know. You play mech games. Hey. Songa, there you go. Hey. 
Zongo, best girl Zongo. Hate that she's paired up with Moroku. That's so dumb. He's weird, creepy. Eh, whatever, it's another day. It's another day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we're going to call So. Are we, are, we, are we got something else before we end it? Um, just two things. Uh, I just want to mention uh, the February releases. Um, there's some stuff. PS5, you can expect uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse. So, Eclipse, I know you're a furry. That's cool, man. You got that to look Why forward to. Why y'all keep saying that, bro? So what else? Marvel said that. Yo, this game actually looks very... It looks cool, but it looks bad at the same time. I know. It looks like it looks like trash that you can enjoy. Not gonna lie. It looked like a uh, prototype. You ever played the prototype games? Or heard of the prototype games? No, nah, but I know exactly what you're talking about. It looks like that. Like a gener- generic superpower type game that you pick it up for $20. <laughs> and you're like, wow, this game was actually good. And never play it again. <laughs> yeah. And then when the sequel it's comes so, out, you get it for yeah, forty bucks. That uh, the, it's funny you mentioned like prototype and like and like infamous and all that, those kinds mm-hmm. of games because like that main character looks exactly like a main character from that era of like white guy with shaved white head. bald shaved head. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, he's every super single generic. protagonist back then, super generic character, dude. He looks like probably named Tim Steele like. or something. Yeah, it, he looks super generic. He does. He looks. I don't. Yeah, I don't know where they're going with that. Um, uh, whatever. I feel like it could have been cool, but yeah, just super generic. Super generic. I. You can't be more generic than that. You really can. Um. PS5 is also getting Control Ultimate Edition. I never played that. I completely forgot this even came out. What game? It looks dope, though. Control? Oh, yeah. It's all on, like, everything now. It's I on feel Switch. like that's a sleeper. That's a sleeper head. Yeah, it was I, on Switch. Like, I got a story about the game. I bought... GameStop was having a sale, and I got Devil May Cry 5. I got Rage 2. And I got control. Control is free to or for free. It was buy two get one free. I got both of those games for thirty dollars. Paid sixty dollars for those games. Use whatever. Who cares? I got the case. Not like games come with books anymore. And I was supposed to get control, but control was sold out. So they never sent me my control game. And they told me I had to wait. And that was like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I never got control, and now it's free. But I'm, I was kind of mad about it. Yeah, that sucks. All right, well, you can pick it up for PS5. Oh, you don't have PS5 yet. No, don't worry. I'm going to get you it. Don't worry. It's coming. Yeah, I can't wait, bro. Yeah. Are we, getting Mar- Are we streaming Mario 3D World this week, though? Friday? Uh, if I can download it and I have space in my Switch, yeah. I'm definitely. I think I'm gonna get it. I was gonna wait till my next check, but I think I'm straight. I think I have a, have a way more money than I thought. <laughs> so uh, we might be picking that up. Uh, what we playing Wednesday, yo? Wednesday? Oh, um, cool, Herman. I don't know. Ask the chat. What are we playing, Storm? What are we playing, Marvel? Marvel, you still in here? Uh, while they let you know what we plan on Xbox, uh, you can look forward to oh, Little Nightmares. I don't know if you ever played Little Nightmares too. Uh, Little Nightmares in general. People keep talking about it, but I've not played it. I, I never played it either. I want to though. It's coming out for Xbox and Switch. Oh, that's sick. That's dope. I keep hearing about it, so it gotta be good. I mean, I think I'm gonna play it like during Halloween. That's a horror game right there. Um, the only thing left is for the Switch, like we just mentioned. Bowser's Fury comes out the twelfth. We on it, Bravely Default Two. That's crazy to me. The first that, game came out twenty twelve. No, it's eight years for a sequel. 
I don't care what that be. Damn, is that old? Um, I feel like that yeah, game right? came out a couple years ago. I thought maybe like two, three there, years ago. There, there have been uh, there have been like spinoffs coming out, but no, the first game came out in 2012. Hmm. Well, dang. I thought it was like two, three years. Silly me. You don't know, Storm. You're trash. Um. Oh, and uh, your favorite Gal Gun Returns comes out twelfth. So you know what? I'm the only thing I know about Gal Gun is that there was a game with her. Volt, Azure Volt, and Mighty Nine, and it looked pretty cool. I'll take my trash off the bed. Go to bed, girl. And that game looks sick. But I don't even know what it's called. You, you talking about Galgun? Yeah, it was like a... I'm a... Y'all, I gotta see if I can find it. Are we talking about the same game here? Bro, I it's put a in gal- gun. It's a, it's, a, it's a gun. It's a game. Is it this? Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Also known as <laughs> also known as Gal Gunvolt Burst. Um the game. Nah, we- <laughs> what? No, we're not talking about the same thing. I put this in as a joke. Gal Gal Gun Returns is an is like a weird like Japanese creepy game that's coming out the twelfth. It's not a side scroller game? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. I'm shitty. <laughs> No, 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 that's cool. No, you, you literally said the name, the the name of the game, and whatever you're talking about. So it's not your fault. But uh, no, Galgun's like this. It's like a creepy game where like it's like it's one of those super Japanese games where like a guy is like suddenly one day every single girl super attracted to him and they're confessing their love. So he's got to shoot them with like a love gun. Oh yeah, it is. It's the same thing. Really? But it's a this is a side scroller that combine like all three of those concepts: the mighty number nine, uh, the gal gun joint, and um, azure striker gunvolt. And they're like oh, the- some of the gal gun characters are are playable. That's the only thing I know about that series. That's why I was excited to talk about it. Nah, man, it's okay. You can tell them that like you're like a pro at this game. No, I've never played it. <laughs> I have no, no, I don't, I have no clue where those. Go. I always wanted to play Azure Gunvolt. I'm gonna send it to you in the uh, in um, your messages. But um, I always wanted to play the Gunvolt game, and I never did. And I always wanted to. Uh, Mighty Number no. Nine was was cool, but it wasn't Mega Man. And I don't know nothing about Gal Gun. Uh, I figured it was cool because they put them with these cool characters. So maybe not. <laughs> that you're explaining it now. To, but that girl. No, nah, dude. Good. It's like borderline, you know, an adult game, bro. Really? Yeah, dude. Like you're literally like, like I say you have a gun, but like you're shooting like wet stuff. Oh, chill, 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 chill. I'm streaming. Exactly. You know, oh, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I shouldn't have Googled this. <laughs> yeah, when you Google it by itself, it's a whole different game. Okay, I okay, weird. <laughs> nice, Storm. I'm, I'm late on that. That's crazy, dude. So, what do we got looking forward to in the week? You know, what's coming up on the YouTube channel, on the stream? What do we got looking forward uh, to? Did y'all see that Project 6 game that I posted? I got more gameplay of that coming. Um, I just dropped the customization video. That's on my YouTube right now. Um, people seem to like the game a lot. It looks pretty cool. It looks like Armor Core. Um, I have some... I don't know if you guys have seen the other video I might have posted. Galahad 3063. Um, it's another like make first person shooter. I just I I recorded the last beta for that, so uh, I did a little breakdown video for for that, and because some people have been asking me about it, so I went and did that, and um, I hope that, hopefully that turns out all right. Um, I was getting washed because I guess people got good at the game. Uh, <laughs> I missed like two betas since I played, and people are. 
like they're using boost and stuff now. People were using boost when I played. So now I'm getting washed in that, but I have some gameplay that you can guys watch me get beasted at. I guess it's no different than my streams. Um and yeah, that's about it. Like I'm um Um I just I have some uh interesting gameplay videos for you guys. Um other than that, the only thing that comes up is you know Wednesday, Thursday, Friday we'll be streaming. Uh, I'm not sure what we're playing Wednesday because you guys are trash and didn't tell me yet. And Thursday, I don't know what I'm doing Thursday either, but Friday I'm planning to play Mario. Um, shoot, even if Boo doesn't join me like he said he would, and I'm playing by myself. So, hit me up if y'all get Mario on the Switch. Hopefully the online is not like freaking Smash Bros. <laughs> I was just about to say I can ex uh, I can expect it to be better than Smash Bros. Just because I think like that's a joke with uh, Smash Bros. Now I hope so, but we'll see. Um, anything else crazy? Just more Project Six videos. I'm probably gonna drop at least a couple more to show people more gameplay. I'm trying to get more people, at least on the west side, more I'm trying to blow that game up. Because it's an indie dev. It looks like everything we want in an armor core type mecha game. And I think right now the indie dev is only planning on dropping it in Japan. But if we can get more people interested in the West, maybe he'll drop it over here. Or I don't know his plans because he's Japanese and I don't know what he'd be typing. And I'm too lazy to Google Translate everything. But um, I hope we get more... Support in the West, this game will come cl be closer to coming out. So, mm, we'll do a couple more videos on that. Like I said, and yeah, that's about it. Like, I don't have too much planned for YouTube right now. I'm trying to stream more. I'm trying to stream more, man. So, you guys let me know if y'all want to see what games y'all want to see stream. And if y'all want to come and join us for the fight nights. Like, we got... We've been having fun, bro, and it's growing every day. I do have blue hair, dude. <laughs> what up, Skills? Aren't you looking at the screen right now? Yeah, it's dark blue. It's the same color as Venom. Oh, wrong way. Same color as Venom. <laughs> I have blue hair, dude. Hey, yo, Eclipse, I got a question. You ever, you ever think about doing a playthrough? I thought about it. You just sound like KSI. I don't know who KSI is. Um, I thought about it. I just don't know what I'd play through right now. I do have a lot of games should, on my backlog, though. You should play something that you'd know. I bet you so know. something. So play something I already played before? I thought about doing Beyond Good and Evil because she's my favorite female protagonist in a video game. You sound colorblind. Yeah, that'd be. But you got colorblind? games on your phone. Skittles, what are you talking about? The only game I have on my phone is Final Fantasy Tactics. And I'm a beast at it. Not... Well, you don't have Angry Birds? No. It's the only, All right. It's the only game on my phone, be it. <sighs> What game is that again? Final Fantasy Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a PlayStation <laughs> game that I was craving to play. No Angry Birds? Shut up, Ricky. Here you go. Ultimate Alliance 3? Nerd. Does anybody... I would love to do a co-op playthrough. Like, because I prefer playing co-op games. Or playing with people. Yeah, same. I want to do co-op nights. I love co-op games, but I need to play with someone who's as good as me. Because, like, otherwise, I'm just carrying. You're not even that good, though, at anything. I'm just joking. The only thing I'm good at is Mario games. Like, Odyssey and 3D World. Like, yeah, I'm well, pretty good. Well, we got 3D World Friday, man. Maybe we can right, I'll probably liter I'll literally be carrying you. Because I think you can carry in that game. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch my character. I'll, I'll call Blue Toad. 
I'm doing That's good, Ricky. Mario. This is my new my my e live. We doing my my podcast live now. I'm trying to see how it works. Well, I think I'll probably hop off. Let me know when you switch from uh, from Twitch to OnlyFans Eclipse. Looking forward <laughs> to the next time. Uh, I'm about to be out of here too, man. You guys be safe. Thanks for joining. Sorry for y'all who joined late. Um, let me know what y'all thought. People who stuck around, let me know what y'all thought of this. If I should do more. If I should have more guests. If I should replace Boo. Like, <laughs> I'll just play Boo. Is he even here still? Or am I talking to myself? Here. Oh, cool. Yo, but <laughs> well, don't. I'm gonna put it up on my YouTube, so you can watch that after. I have the chat down there too. Um, I'm gonna be doing these more, man. And then if I need to change the time too, maybe I'll change the time. Maybe uh, I'll do later. Well, I don't know if I can do later, but maybe I'll do later in the week. Do it on Tuesday when nope. I have to do it either Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday, or Tuesday is the only days I can do. <laughs> my schedule full, man. Because I don't want to be talking to you guys. What up, Beans? All you guys joining at the last minute, I hate y'all. But I love y'all, too. Let's just do the whole cast again. Just do the whole cast? All right, we're going to go back and talk in circles even more. Because Nermis said I've been doing it. I'm mad you guys are just now coming in here. Not really. I'm not mad about it. But maybe next time y'all can join on the fun. Start from scratch. Yo, when, All right, when every- I end this, y'all can check out the VOD. Y'all can hear me rant, and y'all can hear Boo rant, and then, yeah. But, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. Maybe I'll y'all add some music. Ecl- y'all got to let Eclipse go to sleep. He's an old man. Like, come on. He can barely reach his walker. No, man. Y'all think I'm in a chair right now? I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> Isn't my hair blue, Ricky? Don't it look blue? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Ricky, where you at? Are you in the West Coast? That's what I was worried about. I was worried I started East Coast time and everybody on the West Coast was joining late. That's why oh, I did yeah, that. I That's why I did it at 10. Yeah, West Coast. That's why I started at 10 instead of 8 like I do my game nights. It's Monday too. East Coast, Beast Coast, facts. Boo, say it, say it again. But we gotta end it, it, bro. Boo's tired too, bro. He got kids. (laughs) My hair is blue, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. When I get it twisted in my hair thing, it's definitely gonna look blue. Look how hair, look how long this shit is, man. You basically an anime protagonist. Just wait, bro. Look, I got bangs. How many black anime protagonists can you think of? Me. <laughs> Marvel, I'm still mad at you, bro. You need to play PSO two with us. He said it's too anime, but he played Damon X Marking up. I'm still mad at that. I didn't even pick my hair up before stream. I was looking okay, but me and, well, we was playing around downstairs and now I look crazy. Nah, I wasn't doing nothing nasty. Relax. I asked y'all questions and none of y'all answered any of my questions. I'm mad about it. TJ Combo. I'm out of here, man. Boot on left me. We out. I'm ending it. Thank you guys for joining. Um, Check out the VOD. And if you guys got time, hit up the Discord. Let me know what y'all think. Um, If I should keep it live. I kind of like doing this live. I was a little nervous, but... <laughs> I asked if it, well, you wasn't here, Ricky. So in your defense, you couldn't answer the question. But yeah, let me know if y'all like if y'all enjoy this and we keep it up. Um, things we should talk about, and one day I'm gonna come up with a better name. But for now, it's the Ecast. <laughs> Later, beans, bro.
Thanks for joining. Oh, but again, remember Fight Night Wednesday. I don't know where we're playing yet. I'm thinking Rocket League again. Rocket League was pretty fun last Wednesday. So if you guys want to hop on for Rocket League, um, let's do that. And I don't know where we're going to play Thursday. And then I don't know where we'll play Friday. Well, Friday Super Mario. But maybe we'll do Smash Bros or something after. So, you know, I'm just going to open for anything. But I'm out. This time for real. Y'all be safe. Peace.